What's going on guys? Traveling Power Rangers fan here coming at you with another video. As the the title of this video indicates, I got a hot toy sitting right here and man am I excited about it. This is technically the second hot toy I've bought, but it's the first one to get in. The first one I bought is the Mandalorian Deluxe. I'll go ahead and throw a picture over here of that guy. But while I was waiting on that one to get in, I decided I would get the Mandalorian original uh, release. Uh, mainly because it, it, I kept seeing a bunch of pictures on Facebook and it looks so dang good that I just had to pick it up. And then I'm glad I did because like a week after I ordered it, it sold out on Sideshow Collectibles. So without further ado, I'm super excited for my first hot toy. Box came, looking great, says hot toys! And I was super excited. If you don't know who What's Poppin' is on Facebook, you definitely gotta check him out. I'll probably drop a link down here in the description. Between him and Josh Pence, they've convinced me to just get into hot toys. Uh, but I'm limiting myself for now to just Mandalorian related things. We'll see how long that lasts. But I'm gonna go ahead and take off this plastic get this guy out of the box because I'm just I'm too excited like I couldn't even put on a Mandalorian shirt because I was just too excited to open this and I just I have to open it so hang on a second guys all right guys got the plastic off because I know how annoying those sounds can be let's let's open this guy because I'm like so excited about this ever since it shipped I've been really excited um, so got just the standard little topper here it did get damaged a little in shipping, but that's fine, because I actually bought a special display case next to my computer just for this. Then, we got this sweet photo of Mando. That might actually be a good pose to try out. I plan on changing the pose on this guy, like, once a week at least. With how much this thing was, I gotta, like, I gotta enjoy this guy. Let's go ahead and remove the little photo here. Whew! Alright. Let's go ahead and just put that off to the side. Let's get our tray shot in here. He looks great even with that plastic there, but let's go ahead and move that. Oh, there's a little bit of tape. I'll go ahead and cut. Please excuse the sound. So here we got a few hands for him. We got the little like tracker for his bounties. Um, and this looks like the, the tracker itself. I'm not actually sure. Um, but hey, it looks like we got two fists and two hands that would be great for guns. Whew! Ooh, baby, how do I open this? Oh, it like, it has to like, I guess it doesn't need to fully come out of the box. I messed up, guys. I'm sorry for the extra noise here. But I'm so excited that I had to do this. And I wanted to make a video about this. I've talked about it in past videos. So, <laughs> oh no, something fell. I don't know what those are. I'm going to, I'm going to put those off to the side. I'm gonna put this box off to the side. Why does it feel heavier now that it's not with every, oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and just put this down. Ooh. Take his little, he's got like little boot covers and hand covers. Let's go ahead and take those off. Oh man. All right. Great little holster here. Great armor. This Beskar helmet is just looking great. Okay, so the little, the little piece that was here uh, it looks like it's one of his little bombs, and it looks like there's actually a free slot to fit that. I really like this cloth cape. Much better than the Black Series one, for sure. So, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna mess with this guy a little bit, do some posing. Um, we're gonna drop some, some B-roll in, as I, you know, as it's called in the biz, the YouTube's biz. Gonna drop that in, doing some fun stuff with this figure. So, yeah, um... Hang on for that, it's gonna be like two seconds, so yeah. All right, so I've had this figure out of the box and on display for quite a few days now, and I have to say I am truly impressed with this figure. 
the way the details of the paint apps are and the cape the weaponry everything about this figure is just set up perfectly in my opinion it's great how he has swappable parts um, the fabrics that are even under the armor there his helmet is greatly detailed and quite frankly it's amazing here I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the accessories that it came with starting off with the lightning piece so this would attach on the end of his weapon that way you can uh, look like it did in the show here we've got the best car armor shoulder pad that is easily swappable thanks to an easy piece of velcro on that right arm see here we're taking off the old armor piece and adding the Beskar. But if I'm being honest, I'm probably going to display it not with the Beskar since I am getting that Deluxe Mandalorian in in a month or two. Here we've got the different style of hands. They go from holding pistols on each side to holding the rifle. Four hands in total that can be added in. Now we're going to just do a little closer look in on the figure. Here we got the little bounty detector. That is a great little addition that can hold in his hand. Um, you can see the great battle damage on that armor. Here, we got that, that little Stormtrooper helmet looking amazing. Shout out to that thumb for being in the way. The wood on that weapon looks great. The cape, nice and weathered. It feels amazing too. It's perfectly soft. Not that I will be touching it very often. Great details there on the arm pieces as we go a little out of focus, but hey, like I said, great paint apps all around, great things. We get the stand that says Star Wars The Mandalorian. This is going to be perfect in its display case, and I'm thrilled to have it in my home. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the figure, guys. Alright guys, thanks for sticking through. All the way here to this point in this video. I know most of my channel is Power Rangers related, but I'm getting super into Star Wars thanks to The Mandalorian, even though it's not even on right now. It's the, almost the end of January. I'm missing him. But hey, I got a little of him in my home to remind me of how great he is. And I can't wait to get that deluxe set that I mentioned before. So, if you want to see me review that deluxe set, much like I reviewed this one, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you're subscribed, you're going to see that video in your newsfeed, and we're going to get to watch it, and it's going to be great. So please, drop a comment below, give this video a like. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of great content on there, and please join my Discord server. The server is growing every day, much like this channel is, and I look forward to engaging with all of you guys. So, have a great day.